for Who Owns Kenya. And today we revisit the listed British American Investments company previously known as Britec, but which recently rebranded to become Britam. Now, as we reported last year, when Britac, as it was known then, did an IPO that led to its listing at the NSC, British American Investments Company defines itself as a diversified financial services group with insurance and asset management as the core business. To understand Britam Group better, we have to go back a little bit. Uh, now, the group traces its origins to the 1920s, when a firm then known as British American Insurance Company was established. However, the company made its entry into the Kenyan market in 1965 and much later started expanding into the East African region. At the time, it was just another insurance company and stayed this way for many years uh, before some leading local businessmen and entrepreneurs took an interest in the company. Now, the entry of businessmen who included such luminaries as Dr. James Mwangi of Equity Bank, Jim Nambaru of Dyer and Blair Investment Bank, and Peter Munga also of Equity Bank, among others, gave British American a new direction. Today, the company has diversified interests and counts among its core business property development, wealth management as well and the provision of diversified investment services, offshore investment plans, and pension plans. Now, it is for these reasons that Britam has significant investments in a number of blue chip companies, such as Equity Bank and Housing Finance, to name two. Now, the group's asset base has grown to 26 billion Kenya shillings, and its market capitalization now stands at 12 uh, at 12.2, excuse me, 12.2 billion shillings with 1.89 billion issued shares selling at an average of six shillings and 50 cents. Now, Britain presently manages assets worth close to 20 billion shillings belonging to some 6,500 different clients. The group has expanded and now has interests in Uganda, Tanzania, Rwanda and Southern Sudan as well. Last year's IPO saw the number of shareholders increase to 28 but who are the top 10 shareholders in Britain today? Let's take a look at that all-important list of the top 10. Standard Chartered, it's a nominee account uh, that stands at number 10. Now, 1.62% is what it holds, and that's valued at about uh, 198.9 million uh, Kenya shillings. Let's take a look at number 9. NSSF uh, is at number 9 with 1.76% of shareholding in the company, and that's valued at 217.1 million uh, shillings. Go to number 8, and it's an equity nominee account, and uh, they hold two. 2.11% of shareholding valued at 260 million shillings. Uh, next, it's Dr. James Mwangi with 3.97% shareholding valued at about 487.5 million shillings. And following uh, Mwangi is Peter K. Munga with 3.97% valued at 487.5 million shillings as well. Now, uh, after Peter Munga, at number four, we have, at number five, we have Filimbi Limited, 4.76% is what they have valued at 585 million Kenya shillings. Now we go to number four. Who's at number four? Let's take a look. Benson Wairegi, who is the group CEO. He holds 5.3%, which is valued at 651.3 million Kenya shillings. At number three, a name you know very well, Jim Nambaru stands at number three. 15.86% is what he holds. And what's it worth? 1.95 billion Kenya shillings is what it is worth. At number two, Equity Holdings Limited has 21.41%, which is valued at 2.63 billion Kenya shillings. And at number one, it's British American Kenya Holdings Limited with 23.92%, which is worth 2.94 billion shillings. Now, it's time for us to take a look at our quote of the day. And this is uh, quite an amazing quote, a, a special quote, I think. We don't know who said it. Anon uh, is who we attribute it to. And it, and it reads, always remember to thank God for the doors he does not open for you as you thank him for the ones he has opened.